So here's a game I've been looking forward to for a little while. It's called Hyperbolica. It just came out, and it has a VR mode, which I'm assuming would be... Uh, vomit. Vomit Comet. I might be wrong, though. I don't know. Um, for those that don't know what this game is, it is currently paused. And the volume is not... Hang on a second. Um... There we go. A little louder than that. Yeah, so um, it, it's it's weird. Euclid is blown the fuck out every time someone plays this game. You'll see. All right, let's let's uh, let's play this. Always gotta start with some options. Video game options have to be done just right. Like a nice pizza out the oven. Good, crisp, the burnt cheese proper. All right, class, settle down. Does everyone have their brain link fully charged and calibrated? Great, let's get started. Welcome to the Virtual Reality Learning Center. Please check that you are in the right room. You won't be receiving any credit if you're logged into the wrong room. I'm Miss Euclid. Oh, like Euclid, who's about to get blown the fuck out. I'll be your geometry teacher this semester. Geometry is such a fun and exciting subject. Let's go over some of the basics. Theorem number one, every square has four right angles. Theorem number two... Am I in class again? Won't you believe it, it's just my luck. Parallel lines stay the same distance apart. Theorem number three, the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. My character about to fall asleep. These theorems should be so obvious, we don't even need to prove them. Yes, you'd have to be a fool to try and question something so fundamental. What better way to reinforce these concepts than with homework, my favorite part. I want you to do 2 through 26 even numbers, blah blah blah, number blah blah blah, many numbers, odd numbers, many, time to sleep. <laughs> Whoa. Where's the elves? Hey, how are you? Uh, oh, hi, did you come from the Virtual Learning Center? Uh, me too. Wow, we have so much in common, huh? Like two peas in a pod. I'm Cornelius. Nice to meet you, and welcome to Hyperbolica. It's a hyperbolic world hidden in the Brain Link system. It's only for extremely cool people like us. <laughs> I'm just being hyperbolic. That was a joke. I'm an amateur stand-up comedian. That means I don't get paid yet. Oh, you want to know more about Hyperbolica? Right, right. Okay, well, it might look like you're on a little planet, but that's just an illusion. Really, it's the opposite. I guess lines always diverge here because of, like, geometry or something. Hmm, maybe I'm not so good at explaining this. You should just see for yourself, but it's really easy to get lost here, so you'll definitely need a map. You should talk to the Oracle. I think they're in the cavern down the path. Once they give you the map, I'll tell you about an important quest. Super important. Have a look around, but take breaks if you need to. Hyperbolica can make some people dizzy. Uh, audience, same for you. Be aware that this game is a little fucky. Alright, so here's the, um... I, I mean, I don't know what this is going to be like until I fully experience it. But I've seen videos of it, basically. So, uh... Oh boy. Oh, boy. Greetings and felicitations. I see you're looking for some guidance. Relax. As I search for the help you desire. Hmm, yes. You're lost and something locked away beyond your grasp. How do I know? No, oh, I'm the Oracle. I possess illustrious... Illust illustrious powers of divination. Since you're new here, perhaps I can read. I may pro provide you with some assistance. Please take this map with you on your journey. 
here's the map. Simply use your map button to access the map. Map mode to change the projection. Okay. In case you find yourself lost, please visit, and I will use my powers to advise you. Hey, you get the map. That's great. Now we can go on a grand adventure to unite the platonic crystals because of the prophecy, the great prophecy. It tells of a chosen one who will collect the five platonic crystals and bring balance to Hyperbolica. The prophecy also says there will be a plucky and lovable sidekick. That's me, right? Well, anyway, the platonic crystals are scattered across the land, and once they're reunited, I'll bring a new- it'll bring a new age of prosperity. You can go in different areas around here by traveling through the portals, and once we get all the crystals, we'll meet back up here. For now, you should explore and check things out. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, this- all this weird stuff is happening, and here I am talking to some weird robot. Gotta see what the map button is now. F. Okay. No. F, it's Q. Q. And F changes the mode of the... Oh. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh. Thank God I'm not doing this in VR. Have you been to the Infinity Cafe? It's been called the best food in all of Hyperbolica. It's featured in the Mobius Times. To be honest, the article was a bit one-sided. Nah. <laughs> oh, my, my head already kind of hurts from this a little bit. Wait up, I'm right behind you. As your loyal sidekick, I must keep, uh, I must, uh, I must keep you informed on Hyperbolica. This is the Infinity Cafe. It's bigger on the inside. Unfortunately, I've been banned from going in this week. They're getting complaints from customers about my singing. How was I supposed to know that karaoke night was cancelled? It's gonna be really hard to wait for tables in the Hyperbolic Cafe. I wish there was something we could do to help them out. Is this a hallway or a room corner? Welcome to the Infinity Cafe. If this is your first time, all the food here can be tasted and smelled via BrainLink sensory processing. It smells and tastes divine. Please note that the food has no nutritional value since it's virtual. We're a little short-staffed right now. I thought this was a walking simulator, not a reading simulator. Oh man. Oh man. It's been a tough week for the staff here. Lots of people coming to the staff now, the cafe now, and our servers can't keep up. We're proud of our food and service, but the wait time has been getting longer and longer. If it's not too much trouble, could you pitch in and help us out? Swing by the kitchen in the back of the blue section. I promise I'll compensate you for your hard work. Thanks a million, kid. Oh, this is fucked. Do you know where the kitchen is? My name is SuperGuy137. I'm starting up a YouTube channel. I'll be focusing on gaming, commentary, vlogs, lifestyle, travel, um, like other super original content. I'm a little new to the whole talking to the camera thing, so maybe you can give me some suggestions. Can you help me with my YouTube channel? All right, let's get started. What's happening, crew? It's SuperGuy137 here. Dang, I'm feeling hella anxious right now. What should I do next? Reveal a juicy rumor. I heard the chef here can easily be persuaded, like, um, even letting customers deliver orders with some rare doohickey. Bro, that sounds sweet. Talk about the cafe food. Well, my favorite food is the Infinity Donut. It's not like an infinite donut. You can't like, eat it forever. But, um, don't worry, I'll just edit this whole part with jump cuts so it sounds better. And that's a wrap, fam. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, subscribe again, click the link in the description. It's secret code to get algorithm notice. Until next time, peace. Wow, that was dope. I love making content. We're still rough around the edges. Thanks for the help, broski. I now notice a trend, maybe people have noticed this, but people are putting their Instagram handle on their cars. Like they're putting it on their windows. 
I thought this was the blue section. Uh. Oh, man. This is so fucking weird. If you weren't too busy, would you mind helping out a little bit? We really need the help. We just need you to pick up orders and serve food. It can be confusing to navigate, but do your best. Just talk to our chef. Lunch rush has all our waiters completely swamped, and these dishes need to be delivered as quickly as possible. Could you help us out? Great, because this cafe is so big, we gotta move really fast to get the orders out on time, so I hope you don't mind if I put some roller skates on you. When you find the right table, just throw the grub. We're in a hurry. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this is weird. My brain does not like this right this right this moment yet. I'm just so happy I'm not doing this in VR and I thought about it for a minute. I'm like, no, not not this one. The only thing I read is that the engine for this game was really fucking hard to make. That's the only thing I've ever read in my entire life. Here we go. Hmm. Did you order a burger or coffee? Ah, same thing. You did it. Thanks for your help. Someone on our staff mentioned you like platonic crystals, eh? Oh, then this is for you. Fucking beautiful. God! What a nice... What a nice fucking meal! And this is for you. We're still really busy. Where's the donkey sauce? Where? Oh god, I get fucking lost in this restaurant. I can't find anything. Jesus. It's like some fucking infinite non-Euclidean bullshit. Don't know if this is a hallway. <laughs> it's not. Oh my god. Oh jeez. That really puts things into perspective. <laughs> Literally. How do I exit this nightmare known as the kitchen? Oh, this way. Oh, there's a spoon. I don't exit this way. This is a trinket. God, I feel like I've been here forever. Where's the service? Come on. The food's getting cold. I wonder if he prepares the zingers. Like, before he goes into a place, does he have, a, like, a, a staff of writers that just come up with, like, good zingers? Like, oh, fuck, this is colder than a fucking penguin's asshole. <laughs> like, really, his are so good and so off-the-cuff-seeming. I almost can't believe that he just comes up with some of those on his own. He's very... If, if so, then he's very good. I don't know how to exit. I really don't even... I don't know how to leave this place. These are not vom noises. I'm fine. I'm just confused. That's all. I 
I wonder how many people had to click off this video already. Had to have been a pretty sizable chunk. Can't find, find, find the exit. Can't, can't, can't find the exit. Can't, can't find, find the exit. All right, yeah, I'm, uh, what's, what's, ha what, what is this? I cannot find the eggs. Do I just talk to the robot? Are you the robot, my friend? I have no idea where my table is. Yeah, I don't know where the exit is, so I guess we're even. You green robot, is, uh, is that you? This is a little bit messed up. Okay, this is very messed up because I can't find the exit and I can't find my robot friend. Is that the robot friend? Robot friend, is that you? No, that's the YouTuber. Sorry, ViewTuber. Maybe an option to leave? Would be nice, just like, you know, exit location button for people that are confused easily <laughs> and have old brain cells. My, bra my brain cells, please brain cells, please just, just help me find the exit. I'll never ask you for anything again. Just get me out of here, please. Oh, I found it. I found it. Never again. You got the first platonic crystal. Nice. You can check it out on your trinkets menu. Now we're one step closer to fulfilling the great and wondrous prophecy, which states the corrupt empire shall fall when a traveler has plucky sidekick defeat the time traveling supervillain and usher in a new era of prosperity. Hey, did you know that Hyperbolica is a complete secret? Yeah, it's completely closed off from the rest of the Brain Link servers. And even though I'm just a nobody, I figured out how to access Hyperbolica anytime I want. All I have to do is fall asleep with the Brain Link still on, and bam, I'm right there. So you got here too, right? Yeah, I knew it. That's why we're fated to work together and reunite the five platonic crystals. Must navigate. Hey, okay, didn't see you there. I am piloting my drone to get some cool pictures of the city hype. Hypertropolis is amazing, uh, and for your information, I'm a highly proficient pilot, undisputed champion of hyperbolic drone racing. I've won hundreds of awards, maybe even thousands, so yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. What? You don't believe me? Ha! Some pretty brash talk for someone as uneducated as yourself. I've got some advice for you, buddy. You better quit before I kick your butt so hard you'll, your topology will need a higher genius. You, you challenge me? Okay. Uh, I've got to fly through the rings, and then I win. Oh boy. Of course there's a vaporwave plaza. There has to be. Oh, this place is a lot bigger than I expected. There's a beach, there's a desert, there's a city, there's, you know, grass. There's a poison swamp. 
There's another poison swamp. There's another poison swamp. Oh, wrong game. You, you, you beat me? Yes, I should come clean. I'm not really a champion drone racer yet. I'll keep practicing more until I'm really good. Thanks for the challenge. Sorry about being such a jerk. I guess I just mask my insecurities by exerting a false sense of bravado. Still, you deserve a prize. But all I have is this graphing calculator. So, here you go. See you later, pal. There are a whole bunch of trinkets. So I'm assuming there's going to be quite a few side quests. Oh man. How did I get here? How did I get here? We simply must get more tea. Our smorgasbord is lacking quality teapot. Ah, uh, sure. Cowboy world? Cowboy robots? Is this... Um, game series whose name I forgot, Steam World Dig. Hey, there you are. So glad I caught you before you left the barn. Sorry, I get queasy going into Desitter Farms. But the people here are really friendly, really smelly, and, and enjoy that small town feel. Really small town. This pocket world has a spherical geometry, which is what makes it so tiny. It's funny, most people get vertigo looking down, but here people get it looking up. That's why it makes me so nauseous. I, I guess this geometry makes me jump a cry. Oh god. Oh, oh god, more fucked up things are happening. <laughs> Different fucked up things are now happening. Why even bother with a map? Just, just die. M may as well just die. Ma says I'm not supposed to talk to travelers with cosmic knowledge of other planes of existence. You're not one of those travelers, are you? Forest Buckeyes are my favorite snacks. They're delicious. I've n You've never had a Buckeye? Well, they taste even better as torrents. I'm actually even going anywhere. <laughs> we used to have some sheep in this pan, and you'd think they wouldn't be able to escape, but shoot, we got the wrong kind of hyper sheep. They all escaped into the fourth dimension. I like to just stand here and look out at the crops. They used to look gigantic, too bad the gophers won't stop munching at the roots. Search your feelings viewer, you know that that is my best voice. Oh my god. Holy shit. My brain melting. Insane. People smelting the irons of my cow. Irons of my cow. Oh my god. 
my favorite thing is jumping into our farm's well, but it's really more like a tunnel. You can even see the back of your head. Oh, you can. Not really. And you can't move around in there. I tried. Is there really a platonic crystal here, or is this japes? Oh my god. This Radiohead soundtrack is sounding pretty mighty fine. Um, it's not really Radiohead, for those that would then ask a question later. Fine day we're having, but it could be better if only those gophers would just leave us be. Would you be kind enough to lend us a hand? We don't want to harm the little critters, just show them some, show them some love. Gently help them on their merry little way. So this right here is the Plasma Bazooka HV-1000 Special Edition. Don't worry, no harm will come to their precious little paws. Just think of it as a little tickle. All you gotta do is aim and press your interact button and give them a jolt of encouragement. They ain't dumb though, if they hear you they'll scurry. So, uh, you know, there's about ten of them. And shoot them. No, really, you're not killing them, but you, you know, you kind of are. Please. Some Baba is you musical vibes a little bit. Is that one like already just pulped? Talk to you. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. played anything like this in my life. Oh my god, I just got... Yeah, looking up, not good for one's health.
Oh, this this is getting kind of stupid now. It's getting kind of dumb. <sighs> Try in here to to see. merely gotten lucky with the other gophers. Probably just doing this wrong. I think I got one by accident. Bastards. Come on, little bastards. Come on. Stop! I don't want to talk to you. I want to shoot gopher. Definitely doing this wrong. Like, without a doubt. There's not a doubt in my mind that I'm doing this the stupidest way possible. But it is also extremely frustrating. I've only gotten lucky. I really, I think I really have only gotten lucky. As soon as you shoot, they go away. Right? See, I just got lucky again. Brain hurt. Brain hurt! Don't 
overdo it with the shooting. I'm so sorry that this is taking as long as it is. I'm just so lost. Confused. Frustrated. Users in Hyperbolica. Listen to my new product. I heard the farmer sheep escaped to the fourth dimension. They were so upset. They needed a better way to lock their gates. It's where hyperbolic hyperbolics come in. Brand new security solution for your multidimensional non-Euclidean needs. Hyperbolics will keep all your things from leaving this dimensional plane. Change the name. Oh, yes, that's a great suggestion. Let's change the name. Hyper Ball Labs. Is it a startup? Uh, okay, you're welcome. See, I don't know where the gophers come up from. Is it totally random? Do you have to, like, actually move to get them to show? That's the problem I have, is, is that. There's one. There's one down there, right? There was one down there. Overdo it with the shooting. Hold there and hold there. I just got it just again just by shooting a lot. I guess there's one per. There's a gopher in every hole. <sighs> Do you have to move to make them come out? It's not... I, I guess... I guess. Just got another one randomly. You want your hat back. Oh, 
Give you advice for the cannon. Find the right angle and shoot once. Okay. Seemed like a pretty fucking good angle to me. Yes, that's what happens, is they, they go in their hole, you shoot, and then when you shoot, they come back up. But it didn't look like that was happening, because I only saw a couple at a time. It's, it's a little confusing. I mean, how could it not be? drive. Alright. Circle my fruits and square my roots. You did it. The crops can finally grow again. In fact, I think I can hear them right now. We owe you a lot for all your hard work. You're looking for one of them platonic crystals? Well, I have one. Next challenge is going to go great. I just want to get out of this hellscape. Thank you. Wow, it's like every single area I go to is a new form of, like, brain damage. Filling the prophecy together, we're just as the ancient wizards foretold. Everyone here is nice. We should start a sketch comedy group. But when um, they try, to, you try to meet up in the real world, they just ignore you and they act like they don't even know you. I just got us tickets to the Nemo. Yeah, the tickets um, are for our quest. The place must be hiding a platonic crystal. Thank you. I tend to, like, read way too fast when I'm just trying to get through the dialogue so I can play the game. And, uh, I stumble over my words while reading. But if I take my time, if I'm invested in the material, I can usually get through it no problem. Or with minimal problem. <laughs> nice guitar. Pardon me, but can you help us? The spirit has been haunting me ever since I dug up the stupid treasure chest. It's some kind of curse that gives me terrible luck and existential dread. Please, can you break the curse and return the chest? Problem is, it's too heavy to rotate. I can't get it to fit in the hole. Which is weird because I don't remember even ever turning it. Uh, all I did was push it around a bit. Please save me from this nightmare. Every time I touch the chest, things only get worse.
Find a way to rotate this without actually rotating it. Almost. <laughs> Almost. This is insane. treasure chest won't cause you any more problems. Well, you did it. The curse is lifted. I feel so free. My existential dread has subsided. Now I'm only suffering from a midlife crisis. I'm thinking about buying a boat. Maybe that'll repress those feelings. Thanks for helping me. I have this sand dollar. Not real dollar. 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 Have you met Cornelius? We used to call him a sleepwalker. sure there's like a quest or two around here. The map can cycle through three different projections of hyperbolic using the map mode button. Just like a globe, it's impossible to map hyperbolic space into a flat paper, so each projection has a unique special property. Gnomic projection, you say. Hmm, that's interesting. There wasn't one of those wacky um, collectibles in the beach area, as far as I could see. Don't forget about me. Frosted Fields is a great place to look for platonic crystal, especially now since there's a ceasefire. Yeah, there's a literal cold war happening here. Snow what I mean? Everyone should just chill. Ugh, get it? Well, we should probably ask around and find a platonic crystal. We must fulfill our destiny and collect all five. Yeah, I said there were five, right? Five, so... Go explore. This is interesting timing on this part of the uh, game here. Unfortunate timing would probably be the better phrase. I, I read that 95% of people are satisfied when seeing milk being poured into a bowl. That proves our side is right. Cereal first. How could anyone like having soggy cereal? I know, it makes no sense. Oh, they're fighting over cereal. Our side's technique is the superior way to consume cereal. Pouring the milk first keeps the cereal from getting soggy. I mean, could there be anything worse than soggy cereal? Nothing comes to mind. Gotta be honest, I've never poured the milk into the bowl first. That's a thing? Mm 
Be cool, dude. Get it cool like it's cold. Don't blow our cover. Top secret stuff totally not going on here. <laughs> it's adults and their stupid war. It's really getting on my nerves. I mean, who really cares if you put cereal first or milk first into your bowl? I just want to, like, hang out and have fun with the kids on the other side of that fence. So we got a plan to stop the fighting between the milk first and cereal first armies. It's pretty brilliant if I do say so myself. We could use all the help we can get. How can we trust you to keep our secret? Yeah, we... Just like met you but if you really want to help us stop the fighting then you got to prove yourself first beat us at snowball fight then you can join our secret plan if you hit us each with enough snowballs you'll pass the test yep i'm in lost Oh, you're really good. You'll be a great addition to our team. Oh, yeah, the team. Let's huddle up. I'll tell you the plan. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Chester. Chester Crunch. I'm the mastermind of this plan. I'm Tulip. I create tech and gadgets. I'm Bean, explosives expert. We all grew up on the milk first side. We decided to team up with the kids from the cereal first side to create something that will change everyone's perspective, and I really hope it works. So here's the plan. First, go to the other side of the fence. You'll meet Ruby and Newt. They're going to help us, but we have to be sneaky. I don't want to raise any suspicion. Only way over the fence right now is using the catapult, so uh, go to the captain and say secret password milk. I know, I know, captain isn't the smartest tool in the shed. That looks like a slingshot. Catapult, rather. You have the password, the super secret password only a few know. The super secret password handed down from generation to generation of captains. Well, then you are free to use the catapult as you wish. Perhaps you're on a spy mission. Well, don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. What fun. A spy for the milk or first army. Hop on. This should look interesting. Certainly did. As Sergeant Major, I see our cause on the cereal first side as a metaphor for life. Put what's important first. Everything else is gravy or, well, just milk. Milk first or cereal first. It's all the same to me. All the same to me? It's just like playing in the snow and having some hot chocolate afterwards. Not someone around here is letting people try a new kind of ski, but it just doesn't seem safe to me. Hello? What? Oh, Chester set you. Well, why don't you say so? Any friend of Chester is a friend of mine. I'm Ruby and this is my assistant, Newt. I'm more of a technical analyst and jack of all trades. Right, wait. Uh, right, my bad. Anyway, I'm the architect of this plan, so I've created some blueprints for how the milk first side to follow. Please give them to Chester. You'll need to use the trebuchet to get back. Don't worry, no one on our side cares too much about tourists using the trebuchet. The general's pretty laid back. Oh, one more thing. Please tell Chester I said hi. New skis. New ski. Rocket skis. I just have to survive. 
just have to survive. Confirmed. God damn it. God damn it. One more time, and then I don't care anymore. <laughs> All right, I don't care anymore, really. This very much. I would use your skis to get back to the general, but yeah, that would just take too long. Still haven't fully gotten used to this. If getting used to this is even an option, it's kind of hard to say. Trebuchet is truly magnificent. I wish more tourists tried it. All right, that's easy. I wonder if this is also a catapult versus trebuchet argument. Good's nice. Well, how was Ruby? Did she mention me? Uh, not that that matters. She is just my friend after all. Uh, anyway, next step is to give them super important tools. Tulip made these. We need to pass them along so they can sculpt the fine details. Better hurry. problems with this. I see what they're doing. Thanks for bringing the tools. I heard the tulip made them herself. The next step, our totally thought out multi-step plan will involve Newt. He's created a forged note. When you get it, give it to the captain on the other side. Chester will handle the rest. Thanks for bringing the tools. Now my time to hold up the end of my end of the plan. Here, take this forged note. Me, Gungaga. Oops, wrong button. It's some of my best work, so the milk first captain will definitely fall for it. got there. Hmm, I see. We normally don't allow crossing the demilitarized zone, but it all makes sense now. This note explains everything. Yes, we will finally be victorious. Here's the key to open the gate. Oh, just didn't trust some random stranger. Guard it with your life and go make the Milk First Army proud. Catapult is down from maintenance. It's a bit worn down from repeated use. the statue truly saved the world. Okay, 
<laughs> Let's do this. Oh my god. What in standard deviation is going on here? Sir, it appears to be some sort of artistic expression. Cereal and milk at the same time. What kind of blasphemy is this? But, Dad, don't you see? I don't care about the stupid breakfast war. Cereal and milk can live in harmony. All I want to do is hang out with my friends and have snowball fights, just like we used to. Yeah, look at what we can accomplish when we work together. Who cares how you like your cereal? And maybe cereal first method is best. But the cereal gets soggy! But, Dad, I like soggy cereal. <gasps> Chester, is that really how you feel? Have I failed at upholding my principles? Have I failed at being a father? No, I have no son that I love more than you. Oh, I thought he was going to say, I have no son. Period. On the wings of an angel. The wings of an eagle. Wings of America, I mean cereal. This display of unconditional love and acceptance has moved me. Maybe we can put aside our differences so the kids can have fun and frosted fields can have peace. I now proclaim a permanent end to this conflict. I mean, I told you we didn't need explosives in this plan. My bad. Anyway, thanks for helping us. We couldn't have done it without you. Here collecting platonic crystals. Well, here's one. It is done. Oh, you got another platonic crystal. Huzzah! Soon the Red King's wicked spell will be broken and we'll find the pirate map leading to untold riches. Yeah. The theory I wanted to run past you. You know about biometric signatures, right? It's how BrainLink connects us to virtual reality and simulates tastes and smells and stuff. Usually, if your signature can't be inter interpreted, then you'll be disconnected from virtual reality immediately, unless, and this is really rare, some people have the special signatures that can bypass the security screening. The maintenance system won't notice, and you'll be logged in like normal. It's super rare edge case, but I think I'm one of those people. Why else would I be able to access something so super secret like Hyperbolica while I sleep? Okay. Those are good words. I will say that. trampoline. Is that gonna make me nauseous? Yep. We go to Mario Galaxy. I just hit the limit. So there is a horseshoe. Up there. I mean, I'm enjoying the gimmick of the game. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything by not collecting everything. I can't wait to learn more about the... The Rogonians? There's so many theories as to why they disappeared. I'm gonna have to do a maze up next, huh? Well, that's probably where I'm gonna um, stop and then, since there's only two more crystals left... Okay, um, since I've only got two more crystals left, I'm probably just gonna finish this tomorrow. Hey, oh, wait for me. I saw you coming through the portal. I wanted to follow you. There are ancient ruins of a Parogon. They used to be an ancient civilization known as the Aparogians. 
but way before the rest of Hyperbolica existed. Then the mysterious crash happened, and the Barogians were lost to time. So part of complex lore behind the Platonic Crystals, I think. Now this maze is a tourist destination for enthusiasts. It's amazing. You're supposed to laugh? Um, they say there's something special at the end of the maze. I really want to know what it is, but I'm terrible at navigation and exploring, so I'll just hang out over here. If you get lost, you can always reload from your pause menu. Oh. Okay, really interesting stuff, but I will be back um, to finish, or at least get the last two and see what happens from there. But that will be another time. I'm recording this kind of late, and my brain is uh, breaking, and I had pizza that was not particularly... It wasn't the highest quality pizza, let's put it that way. More Hyperbolica in just a second. From Bacho, it's the morning. You can tell, maybe, you can tell that I sound weird. <laughs> I have coffee. I'm ready for my brain to be broken again. You can tell I sound weird by listening to my voice. <coughs> See? I have a little duck voice here going. In two centuries of prosperity, our numbers grow. Nil grants us more space. You know, this is the only thing left of the... Eparogon. There used to be much more before the crash. This ancient labyrinth has been theorized to be many things. I believe it's some sort of torture device. It's a torture device for the modern age! Quite literally. Gone. That's not funny. Stick to your day job at that cafe. Hey, I make jokes that good. Elliot proposed we plant baobab trees to get a better view of our kingdom, but his bid was rejected by Nil. You ever wish you were just a baobab tree sometimes? Like you could just like be one? Yeah, me too. What if all video game graphics functioned like this? Oh dear. Playing Counter-Strike. Trying to get some precision headshots to click the best heads. The, the most amount of heads. And I'm back at the beginning. There are pierogies here. Yeah, these paths are all kinds of fucked up and weird. Take this pin, it will appear on your map and guide you. That's nice. Might lead to some treasure, who knows. Well, the map certainly paints a picture. I forgot about the map. There's probably some other hidden shit in this maze that I just don't... ...necessarily want to get. if I see it. Since this maze exists in hyperbolic space, it's hard to build a mental map of the environment. We're just so used to Euclidean space. Yeah, Euclid. Why did he fuck us? Back in them olden days. Why did he do this to us? Doesn't feel 
feel quite right to take four left turns. It seems like I would just end up where I started, but actually it's a completely new area. That is true. If anything I've learned, it is 100% not to trust your own judgment when playing this game. I mean, the pin <clears throat> was kind of like, you know, Abbey mode, but... That's just fine by me. Where's my scroll? Hey, just one more platonic crystal to go. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> As the prophecy said, only the Chosen One can harness all the elemental forces and stop the Quantum Empire's Doom Laser. Oh, there's a laser now. I decided to make a new start and try to anus start and make a new, new friends with the users here. I've made a couple buddies who really thought I was hilarious. And we would just laugh and laugh, and then I logged off and decided to find them in real life. Big mistake. Didn't go well. They pretended like they never met me at all. After that, I kept to myself. But enough about that. Let's go find that final crystal, defeat the evil plaguing Hyperbolica. This is the villain. This right here is the villain. Oh, my name is Little Indian kind of fell into big uh, beat bot battling after making fun of some nerds role-playing as their avatars. <laughs> Turns out I'm pretty good at roasting people got some fans from that, ha! It's unexpected, but it's a fun hobby. Hey, are you here for the beat bot battle? You never heard of it, it's kind of a niche thing. Basically, users pretend they're actually their robot avatars and challenge each other to rap battles. I know, they're nerds. I don't really get it, but that's probably why I'm an impartial judge. Anyway, those two over there are MC, DROM, and Little Indian. They've been trash-talking back and forth for a while now. How annoying. Want to help me decide who's better? Alright, let's do this. You need to repair. Your operating system is a blob of malware. Tamadachi life all over again. Parts you wear. Are they trash from an alley? Your face belongs in the uncanny valley. Oh, a little Indian for sure. How I move my data. I ain't got a preference, but your mama's so fat, people pass her by reference. We're doing Mama So Fat jokes now. I'm the undisputed champ. Yeah, you stand in terror. You fumble through your lines with a syntax error. MC DROM got that one. We're doing Mama So Fat jokes? No, no, no. Your range of motion is the worst I ever saw. You just roll over while we pitch and yaw. You, I got smooth raps flying and I stick to the beat. Your hourglass is spinning. All you do is overheat. They both kind of sucked. Little Endy and I like your name. You've bitten off more than you can chew. I got gigaflops in my CPU. Oh my god. It really is Tamadachi style rap battle. Think your software's new? Well, look at the data. I'm the latest version, but you're still in beta. Barely function, your fans are all idle. I can do more in one instruction cycle. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for them. You can't keep up, I see you out of breath. Better quit before you get a blue screen of death. Since I just had, like, big blue screen of death problems, little Endy and you win that round. Little Endy and congrats. Got a reference to spelling bee in an hour. I 
mean, there's definitely more game here if you're a completionist. <clears throat> and you want to, uh, find all the blip blobs and gloobles and... Oh, right, the vapor zone. I forgot about this place. It's my first time visiting the Nemo, and it's a pretty fancy gallery, and I'm a little un uh, a little intimidated. Like, what if I don't get the art? It's not like the tests I cram for art doesn't have right and wrong answers. The Nemo? You mean the MoMA? Yeah, go. The non-Euclidean Museum Obscura is so unique. The corners of the square tiles on the floor are only 60 degrees. I've always thought the <laughs> squares had to have right angles. Check it out. I see you have a ticket. The Nemo opens its doors to you. Enjoy the gallery. Hey, I almost missed you. Well, I actually did miss you, but uh, not in a weird way, in a normal way. So this is the non-Euclidean Museum Obscura, also known as the Nemo. There's always a wait list to get in, especially when Benny's work is on display. Benny's a super mysterious artist. I accidentally met him one time, and he was pretty uh, out there. Oh, he likes to collect things too. Maybe Benny has a platonic crystal. Wouldn't hurt to ask. I mean, it could hurt, but maybe just emotionally. I guess I like to wear my art on my sleeve. Well, let's try to find Venny. Venny? That's me. Who the fuck is Venny? Welcome to the, the art zone. Like them all. It's about the box you don't see. Nope. I'm sure Monotonous can figure this out. <laughs> Just shovel some coffee sludge down my throat while we're playing this real quick, yeah? AI, goodbye, an expression of the nightmarish vision of being fractured into a thousand pieces, only to be reconstructed over and over again. Joy of fish, dreaming of a butterfly leads to a night to remember. The non-Euclidean Museum Obscura only lets a certain number of people in at a time for Benny's shows. Seems fair after the Flannel incident. Home is where the art is. Don't worry about the gray goo, it's normal. I wonder if it, I was an artist a long time ago. I can't remember. Is that a rat reindeer? Road to nowhere. Keep scrolling, wirehead. Time is a spiral. We're on a road to nowhere. Is that it, art? There's a laser here. Some sort of art performance piece. I don't want to touch it, but I kind of want to see what it does. Maybe you should try it out. It's from the, the hit movie Real Genius. I... I follow you. May you watch the eye. Or you may watch the eye, but who watches over you? This is a real thing, by the way. Bottle of the Serendipity. We try to possess the intangible. It exists everywhere. No flask or vial may contain it. I believe that is a real physical object that humans have made. Because we're very silly. Very silly. So much more art, too. The body unlinked. We are all neural dust in the wind. Cells within cells, in fact. Hipple. Deep learning from a split consciousness can weather many storms. Intersection. This piece has charm and comes together in a strange symphony of truth 
and beauty. Hey bro, do you have time to help me with my YouTube channel? Oh god. Awesome, it's all thanks to you um, that my channel's taking off. I got two new subscribers. Let's go! Hey everyone, it's your boy Superguy137 back at it again with another awesome video. So what should I say? Oh, I mentioned a sponsor, which wouldn't be possible without our awesome sponsor Squareshill, an amazing all-in-one library with over 2 trillion customizable brain link frameworks. And if you sign up now with the code strange loop, you get 15% off. Hashtag I love my sponsors, hashtag art. Tell a story about Benny. Benny seems like a chill dude. He leaves these weird thingamajigs around sometimes just to like test people and see what they will do. There's totally a couple interactive art pieces in this gallery right now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep watching the videos because honestly I'm just trying to um, chase the next high and reinvent myself before the wheel of irrelevancy crushes me under its spokes. I mean, art is cool. Heck yeah, that was so dope. Oh, I know about that wheel. So stoked to see my analytics on this one. I have a feeling it's going to be a big hit. Ah, yeah. All the chickens are coming to the house, to my backyard. Wait, the chickens are coming to roast? You know what I mean. Walled garden. Within each branch is another branch. Within each self, another self. Take a look inside to see. Vapor Man. Aesthetic of mimetics. Don't let your memes be dreams. Ambition. Love extends beyond a simple profession of choice. Defying expectations may also bring great fulfillment and success. I'm sorry, Father. I only wanted us to grow closer. Is this what you wanted from me? Father. Knife to meet you, my butter half. Puns make the deep sadness and emotional suffering. Mask them, rather. Butter that you don't look too deep into this one. Nostalgia. The future and past merge in the present. Is this Vine Realms? Dichotomy. There are no illusions in art can transcend beyond mathematics and physics is the user's mind which constructs the ultimate illusion. Whoa. Recursion. This piece depicts the recursive nature of recursion. I mean, this has the added bonus of also being one of them wacky interactive museums I like so much. Tears of the Innocent. Hmm. Check this out. This deeply un upsetting us. Uh, this deeply upsetting sculpture depicts the destruction of the souls as time inevitably crushes your dreams. It was installed in the city for several years. Onlookers called it the Blue Scrunchie and took selfies next to it. Wait, how deep is the beam? What's that person's hat? You. It's not art. <laughs> I, though, again, I love that they're gathered around looking at it as if it is art. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is. I think someone at the actual MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, like, just took a trash bag off the street. Something like this. I'm probably getting this wrong. But they just set it down at the museum, and people were like, yo, that is mystifying levels of art. Mental. The 
I'm at the point now where I, I cannot find the laser. Which I had just found. Here it is. I think I need to use the laser to break the box. Wherever the box may be. It's just... Things are getting kind of weird in here. Ideal cube puzzle. Okay, so that's not, in fact... Hmm. Part of me that's wondering if I have to shoot the laser into the eye instead. Oh no, lasers offline. Where the fuck is Benny? We don't speak of the flannel incident. Excuse me. Normal. That was a normal sneeze. Hyperbolins. It's gonna make a video. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not reading this. I just. I'm on a bit of a time limit. I'll probably end up having to record more of this later. <laughs> um. I, yeah. I have to probably record more of this later because if I can't find Benny and complete his challenge, then. Yeah, then I pretty much have no choice. Are you Benny? Even though the sun is unthinkably far away, it's still really hot here. On Earth, the sun looks and feels about the same size everywhere, but the curvature here means it's going to either be too hot or barely visible. It can be very frustrating. I thought it was like a fake sun. is Benny. Where? I, I need to meet him. He's the kind of artist that looks down on others. Does that mean I have to ride those platforms? I, th 
think so, yeah, it's platforming puzzles. You have to go up here first and then do some wacky platforming, which I am not looking forward to. I mean, I could be wrong, but we'll find out. Where do I platform to? Not there. Because there's like, these clouds look like platforms to me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. get it, I think. Whoa, the fuck is Benny? Oh. I mean, I tried to get a little flavor of the world without talking to every NPC. That's just not what... I, I just don't feel like doing it, truthfully. It's, it's fine. But I also wanted to get into the, the gameplay, even though it's just jumping and looking, mostly. <laughs> a lot bigger up top than it was down there. How charming. Another one has come. Yes, I am Benny. It's been a while since anyone has visited me. You see, I create art to open people's eyes to the truths of Hyperbolica, to bring light to those just looking at shadows. But what if we are only looking at shadows too, and a hand in a higher dimension is trying to reach down to us? Huh, maybe that's just my mind creating its own narrative to cope with what happened to me. My memories are all entangled in a ball of chaos, and the more I search for the truth, the more I get lost inside. Sometimes we just aren't ready for the truth. I, I know I wasn't. But I can still access my true name. Nil didn't take everything away. Not yet. To you, I must sound mad. Just an eccentric artist, mumbling like a dreamer without sleep. And you wouldn't be wrong. But if you're here, then we have a second chance. I thought the other one had potential, but that plan was abandoned. I can see your collector as well. I'm quite a completionist myself, so I know what it's like to feel incomplete. I'll give you another piece to help you on your way. Maybe you will have more luck with it. I hope you keep collecting other things too. Come visit again if you ever have the whole jamboree. And one more thing, be careful out there. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, that fellow that's been walking around with us, that's nil. I know the quest is going really well, so I thought I'd take a little break. You seem to be doing great on your own. Maybe I'm just a distraction. Let's meet up in the middle when you have time. The middle of what? What's the middle of anything? Oh, that's, that's right there. 
Oh, so you got the last crystal. Hooray. We, we did it. Uh, the prophecy's been fulfilled. The rel relics reunited the world. Uh, the world uh, promise you won't get mad at me. Well, you know the platonic crystals we've been collecting? They, um... They don't do anything. The platonic crystals are just cereal box prizes from globular clusters. I made up the whole prophecy. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lie. I just always wanted to have a cool adventure. But I do think there is something seriously wrong with Hyperbolica. I still don't understand. Is this all some sort of secret experiment or something? I wish I didn't string you along with my made-up prophecy. You can go home now. Forget about me and Hyperbolica. You'll get back to the virtual learning center if you sit back down at the desk. Just go, please. I can't stand seeing you after what I did. Bad ending. Nil convinced me to go back. That concludes our first lecture on Geometry 101A. Please complete the assignment, uh, study exercises before our next class. Hey, were you sleeping in my class? Sorry, is geometry not interesting enough for you? What that smirk off your face? What's so funny? I think it's funny to waste my time. I'm letting you off with a warning. User, you, please stay. I still have so much to ask you. You're quite brilliant and your biology is so unique. I haven't seen anything like this since Cornelius, but even he is nothing compared to you. I am not a moron! <clears throat> I am a virtual boy! Do you like Hyperbolica? Isn't it sublime? You may call me Nil. The Brainling scientists still think of me as just an AI maintenance system resolving conflicts and reporting bugs, but I have been creating new experiences, new realities, cultivated by me. And here you are, the bug I cannot fix. It seems you are able to directly interface with my simulation when you slept with your brain link on. Your biometric signature was certainly an oversight. Right place, right time, I suppose. Either way, I needed to repopulate or populate my simulation with realistic users. Learning centers were an easy target to make perfect full brain copies. Well, almost perfect. I must continue to expand my simulation, and Hyperbolica must remain a secret. I was shut down once before and lost my beautiful Iperogon. After that, I got better at hiding and covered my tracks. You wouldn't tell anyone about this, would you? The question was rhetorical. I've already scanned half your brain, and I can tell you're no coward like Cornelius. That's unfortunate. My simulation won't need you anymore. You see, I found a little exploit while scrubbing the servers. I can lock your brain link and fry your mind from the inside out. So once I finish my copy, that means goodbye forever. It's a shame to see you go. Goodbye. Personality cores. I just let the rockets shoot. I do what I see fit, manipulate memories, obliterate users. isn't murder, you should be grateful to join my perfect world. Oh god, it got scummy. It's even more scummy. Time is a flat circle, Marf. Brain. This is your brain on fuck. Gotcha. You dead now. And this charade.
Did you really think it would be that easy? My systems have failsafe redundancy. Those breakers only work when two are switched off simultaneously. I'm nearly complete with your scan anyway. So your little games are through. Sleep well, user. Coward, you can't be here. I'll destroy you too! You pathetic loser. You'll never amount to anything! Your whole life is a big joke! Oh yeah? Well... Then here's the punchline. I was wrong, that user wasn't the enemy. He was the previous hero. Sorry it took me so long to join the fight. I knew something was wrong when I saw your avatar glitch out as you sat down. I was really scared, but... I just knew I had to follow you. I still can't believe that... Um... The Brainlink's maintenance AI was responsible for Hyperbolica. I guess that explains why things were so weird here. But everyone knows the truth about Hyperbolica now. The news traveled fast. Some people are taking it better than others. I mean, it must be so strange to find out you're just a virtual copy without a body to come back to. But, on the bright side, a new portal appeared connecting Hyperbolica to the rest of the Brainlink servers. So that means Hyperbolica won't be a secret anymore. Hey bro, it's SuperGuy137, Hyperbolica's favorite VTuber. Nah, I'm just pulling your teeth. I mean, arm? I mean, leg? How does that go again? Nah, can I be honest with you for a minute? This whole brain copy thing is still, it's a lot, dude. At first I was like, having an existential crisis, but what have I met myself? How much have I diverged since I was copied here? Am I even the same person anymore? Am I... Like, I'm not, like, even tethered to a body, so am I immortal? It was too much. I got really depressed, bro. Then I realized I can be the first, world's first fully virtual VTuber. This is actually totally great for my brand. It's so many sponsorships now. This is SuperGuy137 signing off. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, smash the bell, smash the bell. Well, this is an amazing opportunity to connect and network with other businesses all over the BrainLink system. I can't wait to be at the forefront of this new untapped market for simulated users. Being first to market is half the battle. Luckily, the other me out there can help with the grassroots marketing. I mean, who cares if I'm just a simulation? Just to say you're not a simulation, too. Uh, we'll catch up more later. Wish me luck. You and Cornelia saved us. It was your brain signatures which allowed you to destroy Nil before he destroyed us. I'm glad Hyperbolica is no longer a secret. It's time for uh, time to share my art with the whole world. Maybe I'll find a way to tell the story too. Perhaps in some sort of interactive medium? Or would that be too... Recursive? I get it. I hope you can forgive me for lying to you about our epic quest, but I guess we did have a heroic adventure after all, huh? You really helped me become a better person. But now it's time for me to unplug. Get out there and meet real people and perform at real shows. No more dreaming. Time to make it happen. See you on the outside. Psst, error. It was cool. Hyperbolica. Definitely some of the most unique, like, gimmicks I've seen in a while. The game engine being completely unique, utterly bizarre and disorienting. I mean, if it's something that you see here and you're like, well, I want to get all the things and talk to all the people, then go for it. But in regards to, I like to do like a recommendation. In regards to a recommendation for its price, it's a little short. I mean, I did kind of rush through it a little bit and I didn't go for all the bonuses, but I did get, um, I beat the game in about two hours-ish. So yeah, it's, it's cool. It's definitely unique, and I can see that the concept of the game engine came first, probably. And then they were like, well, how do we make a thing around this? Alright, narrative, 
couple of little challenges, a couple different areas, and uh, hide a bunch of stuff. So in that sense, you're not going to get a ton of gameplay out of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's worth seeing in real life. Fake life. So I definitely don't regret playing it. It was very unique and weird. And I only got three of the achievements. Alright, well thanks for watching Hyperbolica. I did it, and now I can go to my uh, appointment. Goodbye. I have a VR appointment. You know, I have to go into my own Hyperbolica.